practice test question for the ASVAB and Pycat says a photocopy machine can copy 24 pages per minute. How long will it take the machine to make 36 copies of a 324 page document? So let's calculate how many pages we have to copy. Again, the document is 324 pages and we're making 36 copies of that. So we're gonna do 324 times 36. Four times six is 24, carry a two. Six times two is 12, 13, 14, carry a one. Three times six, 18, 19. Add a zero placeholder before we start multiplication with this. Three, three times four is 12, carry a one. Two times three is six, plus one is seven. Three times three is nine. Let's add all this up. This is gonna be four, six, uh, 16, carry a one, 11. So we're gonna be copying 11,664 pages. And again, this machine copies at a rate of 24 pages per minute. So by doing 11,664 divided by 24, we'll know how many minutes it's gonna to take to make these photocopies. Uh, how many times does 24 go into 116 without going over? It's gonna be four times. Again, think of 24 like 25. 25 times four would be 100. 25 times uh, five would be 125, which would be too big. I'm gonna do this off to the side so as not to make any mistakes here. Four times four is 16, carry a one. Two times four is eight, this is nine. Uh, six minus six is zero. Nine, 11 minus nine is nine, 10, 11, 20. Drop down this six. How many times does 24 go into 206 without going over? Well, again, think of it like 25. 25 times eight would be 200. So this has to be eight times. And I'm gonna do 24 times eight off the side so I don't make any mistakes. Four times eight is 32, carry a three. Two times eight, 16, 17, 18, 19. So this is 192. Let's do this subtraction here. Uh, six minus two is four. 20 minus 19 is one, and we gotta drop down this four. How many times does 12 go into 144? That's 12 times. Since 24 is twice as big as 12, I know 24 goes into 144 six times. 24 times six is 144 with no remainder. So it's gonna take 486 minutes to make these photocopies. That said, we have to convert this to be in terms of hours and minutes. Again, there are 60 minutes in every hour. So we're gonna take this and divide it by 60. How many times does 60 go into 486 without going over? Well, think of 60 like six. Six times eight would be uh, 48. So 60 times eight is gonna be 480. 46 minus 480 is six. And just by looking at the answer choices, we know it's gonna take eight hours at least. Only one of them has eight hours as an answer choice. And here's where we get our six minutes. All right, so that is that one.